Well, when I heard that there was a trip to Lizard Island organized by RMIT, I immediately knew that I wanted to do this. This was an incredible opportunity to see the Great Barrier Reef and actually know what you're looking at. To see things that we see in the lab, uh, out in the field, uh, in their native habitats, it was too good to, you know, to pass up. We take about uh, 22 people in total, 19 students and generally three staff, travel from Cairns to Lizard Island by charter uh, aircraft and we stay there and we're self-contained and self-sufficient. We've got a lot of work to do. You know, we're not really lazing around. We're not being left to our own devices. Um, pretty much from the morning, it's all you know, snorkeling, briefings, debriefings, lectures, and then we have a field journal which we have to fill out. So every day is pretty well filled. So over a period of about eight days, then we travel out to these different areas by boat, uh, tw again, twice a day, do our snorkeling, do data collection, species identification, make uh, notes on the uh, environmental changes. And then one of the key issues, and the reason that we, we do this, um, is that we also teach the students how to do real-life surveys out in real-life conditions. Lizard Island is, has been completely unexploited by, by tourism and other degrading factors that you see in other parts of the world. So you've got a pristine um, tropical reef environment which, um, which is perfect for study. The two sessions yesterday were real highlights for me because we did get to see a sea turtle swimming in front of us and we sort of followed it for a while and it was just incredible, like, I mean, you see footage of it, but it's just something completely different to know it's right there in front of you and you are actually getting to a chance to follow this animal. The environments are so different around the island. We have uh, very shallow areas, some deeper areas, we have things called balmies that come out from very deep water straight up as little columns. All of these have different kinds of environmental uh, issues um, and uh, we see lots of different kinds of wildlife at each of these areas. There's researchers around us and they've got tanks set up and things like that so you're sort of seeing what it would actually be like to work in this field. This trip has really solidified you know my plans for the future and certainly to undertake more marine biology study and, um, and possibly even some work in the field. The students come back with a real sense that they have really dealt with the real world. This isn't just another academic program, something one does in class, sees pictures on the board, goes to the library, looks things up, it is not that at all. It is you're really there, you really experienced it, and you really talk to the people who do this for a living.